all you cool cats, this is Mina, and welcome back to another episode of Dungarumba V3 Killing Harmony. Um, my power went out yesterday, and that really sucked because I was planning on streaming some more Persona, but since since I couldn't, uh, I, I need to really record some Dungarumba today because I definitely need some episodes um, queued up for, for both this week and also next week since Christmas is on Monday, and... Um, I want to make sure that I have a video go up for you guys on Christmas, even if it's probably going to be very sad. I, I don't know if it actually is. I don't know how long these episodes are going to be. So, anyways. <clears throat> what is going Shuichi. on? Oh, Shuichi. Um. We must rescue Kaito no matter what. If we're to defeat despair and find a new hope for ourselves, I'm certain we will need him by our side. See, this makes me really nervous that Kaito is going to die. We're we're building him up too much. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It's all thanks to Kaito that we're all working together again. All right. Let's save Kaito and stop Kokichi together. This is the beginning of our new hope. Oh man, this does not look good. Himiko and Sumiyu should be down here. There you are. I kind of figured you'd be over here. Yeah! I've got so much motivation now. I can't wait till the electro hammer recharges. Well, calm down, Hiko. If you expend all your energy now, you won't have any when you really need it. I see. That's true, too. But who would have imagined that we are the last hope of humanity and this was a spaceship? I don't wanna. That's not right. Are they really going to throw away the whole magic theme just like that? Uh, um, uh, there was a magic theme in the first place. <laughs> you have anything else to say? Okay. No, no, no. Hey, Samugi. Could it be? Did you come out of your room because you couldn't calm down? Okay. Yeah. I guess. I was the same. I couldn't stay still. Uh, this morning I barely had the willpower to get out of bed. It's all thanks to Maki. Yeah. I can hardly believe it. Maki, who was so sundering in the beginning, is now the one pulling us along. Um, but it's probably because of Kaito's influence. Huh? Huh? Why do you think that? Um, huh? What? You can tell just by looking. <laughs> Seriously, are you really that dense? Come on. Maki's interested in Kaito. Otherwise, she wouldn't be watching the hangar the whole time like she is. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, I suppose that's true. Huh? huh? Are you shocked? Are you guys in some reverse love triangle situation? Uh, um... No, it's not like that at all. Yeah. Wow, I didn't mean to shock you like that. <laughs> I just meant to mock you. About Maki. Um, I wonder... In my hopes Peak Academy, did we have fun and tease each other like this? Okay. We were in different classes, but I'm sure we had friends like that. But even if we can't go back to that time, there's still hope left in the world. I'm going to keep living with confidence till the end. Uh, that's my vow as one of the last students of Hope Speak Academy. <laughs> Samuki is just kind of... How do I put this? She's just kind of normal. She doesn't come off as, as the ultimate cosplayer at all. Like, I, when she says that she's pretty plain, that's pretty much right. If I keep going, I should reach the hangar. If Kokichi's in the hangar, there's a good chance the exiles are patrolling nearby. I should be careful. Is this actually a stealth game? Monokuma's there! Huh? Huh? Monokuma? This is the first time I've seen him in a while. Are the exiles protecting him? Why now? And why all four of them? Kokichi's controlling them, right? So why would he do that? Wait, if the exiles are here, they aren't guarding the hangar. This is my chance. 
I should hurry, but carefully. I don't want to draw their attention. Does that mean walk? Also, I don't think those exiles are protecting him. I think they're trying to keep him at bay. The alarm is enabled. The electric barrier is up too. I can't get close to the shutter. And I only saw four exiles. I don't know where the other one is. Perhaps inside the hangar? Hmm. Hopefully I can find a good spot to survey the scene. If I remember correctly, there's a bathroom with a small window there. Is there a small window over here? I'm tiptoeing because I'm really legitimately scared of what's happening. There's a window? The bathroom window? Can I see inside from here? I peeked inside the small window, and I saw a silhouette on the other side. Uh what are you doing here? Kaito! Don't shout, stupid! Kokichi will hear us! Uh, is he close by? Oh, I'm so relieved to see you. No, I'm locked up in this bathroom, but Kokichi's just outside that door. It'll be bad news if he sees you here. He's got the exosols with him. Yeah, that's true. Wait, so what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Saving you, of course. What? By yourself? No, I'm just scouting the place. Tomorrow morning, we're all coming to rescue you. All of you? It was Maki's idea. Honestly, I, I had given up. We had all given up, but not Maki. She did everything she could to get me back. Yes! Let's talk up Maki because she deserves love. <laughs> it's because she believes in you, Kaito. She knows that you would never give up, no matter how bad things got. Y yeah of course! I'm Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars! Be quiet, you idiot! You tend to yell that! Even if the world has ended and humanity has gone extinct, I can't give up! It'd be a crappy story if the hero gave up so easily. Yeah, that's right, Kaito. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. No, just sit back and relax. We're coming. There's something I want to ask him. I don't care if he's overconfident or acting. I just want to hear him say, don't worry, we'll be okay. It's just... I'm happy you guys want to save me, but stay safe, okay? Getting close to an exosol is dangerous, even if you've got an electro hammer. Got it. Uh, by the way, are you feeling okay? Apart from the injury, obviously. Who, me? Yeah, of course. That's nothing. Anyway, Kokichi should be back soon, so we better end our chat. Ah, okay, sure. And hey, Kaito, about what happened with Gota? Shuichi, I leave the rest to you. What? While I'm gone, you gotta support everyone. Oh no. No, no, no. Especially Maki Roll. She can be reckless sometimes. Yeah. You're an impressive detective, through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. And don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. No, no, it's only gonna no. No. Oh my god, he really. He's, he's going to kill Kokichi. He really is. This is his way of saying goodbye. Just like Kaede left him with something. Oh, God. Don't do this, man. We're about to rescue you. We're this close. We're this close. When times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. Oh, not that line. Rely on your friends. That's it. That's what I've been neglecting. I believe in so I'm leaving the rest to you for now. Oh, God, man, dude, just... You got it, Shuichi. No, just don't. Kaito, thank you. Thank you for being my friend. Yes, I understand. All right, now get going before Kokichi comes back. You're right. See you tomorrow, Kaito. 
<sighs> After leaving Kaito with a smile, I returned to my room. Son of a gun! Son of a gun! There's no point in wandering around. I should stay in my room and relax. I tried to get myself into the right mindset for the final battle while I was meditating on it. It was nighttime before I knew it. Uh, um. We go at dawn. I won't hesitate anymore. Kaito has taught All right. me. I have to do it. To live. To find a reason to live. I will fight. I spent that night with that thought nestled de deep in my heart. <laughs> Don't panic! Just stay calm and listen. Well, if you were watching this Monokuma Theater segment, it's already too late. You guys might not know, but to a 100% cotton mascot like me, hope is, well... The thought of seeing young people brimming with hope killing each other just to survive, watching their hope fade away, there's nothing more despair-inducing than that. My dear students, carrying humanity's hope, betraying, deceiving, and killing each other, it makes me oh so sad. Oh, how I long to see everyone's despairing faces soaked in blood and tears. I've gone and done it. He's still not going to be there. Yeah. No, Kokichi's actually keeping those exosols at, on, on Monokuma. After that empty announcement from Monokuma, I jumped off All right. of bed. Alright, here we go. First to the dining hall. I grabbed the charged electro hammer and ran out of my room. Dang it! I almost feel like scouting out Kaito motivated him to do this killing. Because he found out we were coming. No, this is so bad. Ah, oh, I I caused a death. Oh my god, Chuichi! Literally, this is going. Ah, oh. I'm I'm so upset because if this goes down the way I think it is, it's it's Chuichi's gonna feel like he caused a second death. Wait, was I not supposed to go over here? Wait, where were we meeting? Were we meeting inside? I don't remember where I was going. Okay, we're all here. <laughs> she read my mind. She said exactly what I was thinking. We're all here. Everyone. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Of course. My electro hammer is all recharged. At that moment, I realized one of us didn't have their electro hammer. Maki. Hmm. Maki, where's your electro hammer? Nope. I don't need it. I'd rather not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. Okay, this is much better. Uh, um, a knife? Well, I suppose you know best. Hey! What? Why did Maki do that? That was weird. Oh no, I'm I'm getting nervous. For them. No. Is there a reason she doesn't have her electro hammer? Did she already break in there? Are we gonna find? Are we gonna find Kokichi? Oh, that's why it's going to be confusing, isn't it? Because. Uh, oh, I'm willing to bet he's. Oh, I bet, I bet she doesn't have her electro hammer because it was already used. Oh no. Of course, because, because everyone else is going to, that's, that's going to leave there only two possibilities, isn't it? Because there's no way she would have gone in there to kill Kaito. So, she went in there to kill Kokichi. I'm willing to bet. Uh, before that, there's something I want to say. I scouted out the hangar yesterday. Uh, you scouted out the hangar? Uh, okay. Yes, and I discovered that Kaito was trapped in the hangar's bathroom. I see. 
The path I must see! That certainly is the best place to walk someone up! If I remember correctly, and I also saw... Hmm. Monokuma by the hangar being protected by four exosols. Is that alright? So we have to be careful that we aren't spotted. <gasps> oh! I saw that too! Huh? What? You saw that? Were you at the hangar too, Kibo? Yes. Yes! I thought maybe I could get through to Kokichi before we carry out our plan. So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. You tried to talk You tried to talk to him on your own? Well. I'm sorry. I thought it would be preferable for him to release Kaito peacefully. Hey! How did it go? As I thought. It went as well as I expected. There was no response at all. But But I did witness a few things. Yeah. What? What did you witness? No. We can discuss that later. For now, I'll share what I saw that's relevant to our plan. So Kibo... Kibo also went... Of course, there's no way they would make this easy. Because if we had arrived there and Kokichi was dead, I would have been like, it's definitely Kaito. We're all going to be confused, but now it's... Now there's stuff going on. Okay, we've no. got working parts now. Shuichi saw four exosols that appeared to be guarding Monokuma. Well, I saw one of them enter the hangar. No. Just one? Yes. Yes, the green exosol. If I remember correctly. The green one. I'm sure I saw that one guarding Monokuma. I... I made sure to stay out of sight while I watched. Neither the alarm system nor the electric barrier reacted to the exosol's presence. Creepy. Does that mean the alarm system and the electric barrier don't work on the exosol? That's right. Considering it's where the exosols are stored, that would appear to be a safe assumption. Mm. Anyway, there are two exosols in the hangar. We should be careful. We only have one chance. Okay. Since this is our only electro bomb, we can't afford to miss. You're right. That's exactly right. Mm. Well then, we're off for real this time. Everyone. Let's go! We must end this killing game once and for all, no matter what! Energized and motivated, the group rushed out of the dining hall, one after the all other. Alright, all right, here I go. Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to bet we're gonna find a dead Kokichi. Oh man, we're gonna find a dead Kokichi and now I'm not sure who might have actually done it. It's possible Maki might have done it now that I now that we're at this stage. Everyone should have gone to the hangar already. I shouldn't be late. Why aren't they moving? Hmm. Monokuma's gone too. Huh? Monokuma's not here. He should have been protected by the Exosols. And the Exosols. I don't like that they're going to move. What's going on? And there are only three of them. There should be two more in the hangar. That's true. It's just like Kibo said. We should consider ourselves lucky that there's only two. If all five of them are here, it'd be impossible to execute the plan. All right. All right, let's keep moving. That's concerning. Everyone is here. Let's get started right away. Mm. I'm ready. Are you okay? Maki, are you ready with the electro bomb? Hey. Who do you think you're talking to? It's similar to a grenade, except the detonation lags a bit if you, after you push the switch. Once we roll this to the front of the shutter, it should disable the alarm system. Well, that's obvious. This won't fail. Mm. The Electro Bomb has an effective range of 50 yards and lasts for two hours. If Kokichi's remote control is disabled, we'll stand a chance against the Exosols. All right. Let's stop Kokichi before he gets into the Exosol. But be ready for the worst. We might have to use the Electro Hammers. If he gets into that Exosol, I'll stop him with this hammer. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. What's the matter? What's wrong, Monkey Roll? We're... All ready to start, you know. That's true. 
Yeah, alright. Then, let's go. Aki triggered the Octobomb, then rolled it in front of the shutter. And then... The alarm system is disabled. Now we can approach the control panel. Shuichi. Shuichi, will you do the honors? Leave it to me. All right, leave it to me. Got him on. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm going. All right. Going. All right, if I hit the control panel with this, as I swung the electro hammer, I suddenly uh -huh. notice. Hmm? It's already been hit. It's already been hit. No! Maki did try to get in here, didn't she? The control panel is covered in marks, as if damaged by something sharp. Who are you trying to pull? Shuichi, what are you doing? Hurry up. Okay. S sorry, I've got it. No time to think now. This is the perfect time to think we're about to witness a murder. Or the after the after events of a murder. I aimed my swing at the control panel and brought it down as hard as I could. Oh my! The electric barrier turned off. Everyone. Let's go! We all ran to the shutter at once. Alright! We won't let Kokichi do whatever he wants anymore! Yeah. You better be ready! This is it! All right. The remnants of despair end here and now! After opening the shutter, we burst into the hangar. Electro hammers in hand. To end this. To end this killing game. To end this despair. It's Kokichi, right? Oh, what? What? No! That's... that's... that's Kaito's coat! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, no, no! I thought... Oh my god! I thought... I thought for sure we were gonna find a dead Kokichi here! Oh my god! What? Oh the my god. Not over yet. Oh my god. Without passion or purpose. What is this? What's going on? Chaos and madness. Fusion and turmoil. I couldn't stay calm. I couldn't keep it in. It was too much despair. Yeah. What? Is that blood? It can't be. The body discovery announcement. Does that mean someone's in that press? What? Who? <laughs> the only ones in the hangar were Kokichi and Kaito. It must be one of them. Huh? What? Either Kokichi or Kaito is dead? Oh, look! I saw the jacket. Oh god, Th those clothes. Oh god, they're Kaito's. What did you say? And then the one in the hydraulic presses. <laughs> no, it's not possible. Maki, Maki, say something. Like you have a lot of twists and turns to sort out during the class trial. Extreme. That's what the killing game's all about, after all. Now then. And so I will now pass out the Monokuma file. Nice. Don't say you're getting bored of this, because things are about to get interesting. Now then. 
I hope you pour your heart and soul into this investigation, too. What? Hold on. We have to investigate? So the killing game is going to continue? Killing game will continue? If the killing game is continuing and Monokuma is still moving, then... It means the Masterman Kokichi is still alive. Uh, what was that? If Kokichi is still alive, then that means the one dead over there is... Huh? Kaito? That's wrong. No, that's not possible. There has to be some mistake. There's no way Kaito could die. It has to be a lie. I made a run for the body when... Uh -huh. Calm down. Maki's hand stopped me. Huh? Calm down? How can you say that, Maki? Kaito is... I thought she would be way more upset about this. What's going on? I've seen so much death already. Death of both good and bad people. It doesn't bother me anymore. Wait! It doesn't bother you? What are you talking about? Shut up. More importantly, where's Kokichi? Why? That's right. I don't see him anywhere. He should be in this hangar. He should be somewhere in this hangar. What? He ran away. We need to catch him immediately. He's obviously the culprit. Let's split up and look for him. Leave no stone unturned. No matter how good at hide and seek he is, we can't let him get away this. No. Wait. We can't. We can't leave yet. Uh, okay. We don't know for certain that the dead body is. Kaito. We haven't explored all of the possibilities yet. What? If it's not Kaito, then who's dead in there? Are you saying it's Kokichi? Then why is the killing game still continuing? Maybe... Maybe it is... Kokichi? Maybe Kokichi is the one dead there. And I don't know where Kaito would be. I don't know. Why? And if Kaito is alive, why hasn't he shown himself yet? Are you saying he's hiding because he's the culprit? Stop it. Don't say such a stupid thing. Kaito being the culprit is even more impossible than him being dead. That's impossible! I don't think Kaito could have killed Kokichi in the first place. He was wounded, remember? Actually... And his opponent, the mastermind of the killing game, could control the exiles at will. How could Kaito have killed someone like that when he was sick and wounded? No. I don't know. I'm just... I'm saying it's possible. Ah, uh, and even if it is Kokichi that was killed, that doesn't mean that Kaito is the culprit. But how? S so does that mean the culprit is one of us? Stop it! Wait, that's impossible! Right. No matter how shocking Kaito's death is, saying we're suspects is going too far. I understand what they mean. The initial evidence suggests Kaito is dead. But I just can't believe that. Or perhaps I don't want to believe it. I can't believe Kaito is dead. Um, let's investigate. We need to find the truth here with our own hands and reveal that truth in the trial. Don't tell me. So, you want to continue the killing game? Because... The class trial will be held either way. We should investigate. I don't know if we'll find hope or despair. We have to find the truth. It all starts there. You're an impressive detective through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. So he was wearing his jacket that night. I just saw it in the flashback. <clears throat> Alright, I have to do this. To keep my promise to Kaito. I understand. You're right. If the class trial is going to happen anyway, then we should investigate. Yeah, yeah we already know the answer. But we can't die here. We decided to live for hope. But... My main concern is how Kokichi will react if we accuse him of being the culprit. If he just plays dumb and runs away, then there's nothing we can do. But... No, I don't think so. Junko and Oshima cherish the killing game rules. 
So if the remnants of despair worshipped her, I don't think they'd ignore those. Then? Then it'll be easy to deal with him. We just need to vote for him in the class trial. Yeah! That's true! I understand the others, but why Maki? Why is she accepting Kaito's death so easily? Oh god. <sighs> Why is Maki acting this way? I would have thought for sure Maki would have been losing her mind. That's just... I don't... I don't get it. Well then. Well then, let's review the Monokuma file. Is that okay with you, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Yeah. It's not gonna say the name of who died. Yeah, I kind of figured. And this is going to make it harder. The body was discovered in the Exocell hangar. The victim was crushed by the hydraulic press and is unidentifiable. So, did Monokuma make this file like this because he wants to make it interesting for us? Or does Monokuma himself not even know who did it? Could he not monitor us and so he doesn't know who, who actually died? That's it? That doesn't tell us anything! The identity of the victim is unknown? It doesn't even tell us that much? I don't care. It doesn't matter. We already know who the victim and culprit are. It's decided. The culprit who killed Kaito. It's definitely Kokichi. No. Wait, Maki. It's still too early to decide that. Hmm. It's true that the evidence points to Kokichi being alive, but... Kaito told me. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you... All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. I'm... I want to believe in the promise Kaito made. I want to, you to believe in that with me. Stop it. I refuse to investigate with you. Huh? Huh? Why? I don't know. Not calm at the moment. Right now you're acting like Kaito back in Gonta's class trial. <sighs> it was like this at that time too, wasn't it? You can't fight despair with just belief. It's not that simple. Maki turned her back to me and left. Maki. Um... There's something about the air in here that is making me feel off. Yeah, right? It's almost like the, uh... The Nagito, uh... Co chorus thing that happened. I don't know if the Electro Bomb is to blame, or I'm malfunctioning somehow. But I'm starting to feel somewhat sick. What? I don't feel weird at all. Then... It's gotta be because of the electro bomb. Kibo's an electric, electronic appliance, after all. D don't call me an appliance. Okay. I'm telling you, appliances should go rest outside. <laughs> really, I'm fine, but I suppose I'll go investigate outside for now. Oh crap! So that's suspicious. All right. Oh god. Okay, so all right. I'm I'm going to stick I'm going to stick to my guns on what I said. I don't think I don't think Kokichi is a killer. I don't think he's a killer at all, and I think he was using the those exosiles to hold Monokuma back. I think that's what he was doing. I don't quite understand why he holed up Kaito in here. Maybe he thought cool, let him cool down and relax before letting him go back and join with us. But I don't think I don't think Okichi I don't think Okichi would have killed. Um Also there's a tra I just noticed <laughs> I just noticed that there's a trail of blood leading to the bathroom. Okay. So it wasn't Himiko. I don't think it was Samugi. I think my suspects from the start are going to be Kibo, Kaito, or Maki. Those are my suspects. Which is unfortunate. I was really... <laughs> I was really hoping... 
I was really hoping I was gonna be wrong and that Smoogie would have done this because she's she's kind of like the least interesting character at this point. And I was just kinda hoping like we kill off like the least interesting character. <laughs> ah shoot, alright. Hmm. Then I think I'll start investigating too. Oh, will you be okay by yourself? I could go with you if you want. No, no you don't have to worry. I'll be fine by myself. If the body's like that, then we don't have to worry about anyone messing with it. So it should be fine for all of us to investigate by ourselves. We go off to the hurry. Could it be? I wonder if Miko suspects. Huh? Suspects who? Um, everyone. Because if there are fewer of us, there are fewer people who could be the culprit, right? Of course, it's obviously Kokichi, but like you said, there could be another possibility. Maybe that's what she's thinking? I did suggest that possibility. The culprit might not be Kokichi or Kaito, but a third party. Anyone could be the culprit. Seems like we were united towards hope before all this, but now we're split up. Could it be? Could it be that's why Kokichi killed Kaito? Huh? To disrupt our harmony? Um... Because if not, then what reason would he have to kill Kaito? Maybe that's what this class trial is going to be for, too. The reason Kokichi's no- The reason Kokichi's going to hold this class trial may be to separate us. To separate us? Like I thought. In the end, we were all gathered around Kaito. He was the one keeping us together. If that's why he killed Kaito, then we're completely caught in his trap. <clears throat> I don't think so. It's all part of Kokichi's plan to separate us. This is exactly what he wanted. We're split up. Can't get anyone to cooperate with the investigation. And we don't have much information to go on. The Monokuma file has been some help, but it's not enough this time. But... No point standing around complaining. I'll just have to do it. Time to start. To solve this mystery and find the truth behind it. I'm going to begin the investigation. Oh, music start! I'll start here. Alright, I'm going to expect every single piece of evidence here. I mean, let's start with a bit of clothing. There's definitely a sleeve sticking out of the press. It's definitely Kaito's coat sleeve. In that case, the victim must be... I don't want to do it, but I have to raise the press to inspect the body. I don't think we're going to see the body with that. These controls move the hydraulic press. It can go up, down, and stop. You should be able to use the up button to raise the press and check the body. I don't want to see a crushed body, no matter who it is, but I have to do All right. it. I have to know. I made up my mind, took a breath, and pressed the button. Is it not going to raise? Hmm. Huh? It's not moving? Press the button a few more times, but the press still wouldn't move. Why? Strange. It moved when I pressed it last time. After looking around the press, I found... Oh. Power cord is cut. I see there's no power, so the hydraulic press won't move. Hmm. This can't be coincidence. The power cord was cut on purpose. This must be the work of the culprit. The hydraulic press has been added to the truth wallet section of your monopad. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. I'm honestly a little relieved, but I shouldn't say that out loud. Hmm. I should take another look at the controls. There must be some clue here. In addition to the control buttons, there's an emergency stop button. The press would have stopped instantly if you used this. Well, if the culprit were planning this murder, they'd have no use for it. What concerns me more is the safety function. <gasps> right! There, if it detects a living organi organism, it wouldn't have done it. So whoever it was was killed beforehand and placed there. I forgot about that rule. That's right, this hydraulic press should have had a safety function. If the infrared sensor detects a living thing, the press stops automatically. Well, it didn't stop when Kibo tried before. If the sensor detected a person, the safety should have stopped the press automatically. Stop automatically, huh? Okay, so... Was killed beforehand. We, we can we can be sure of that if 
looks like a machine that's used to paint exocells. It smells kind of like paint thinner. It looks the same as before, probably not related to the case. Yeah, but it was a weird thing. It's the panel that controls the alarm system and electric barrier. I don't see any reason to turn them back on, though. Okay, why is this one open? There's an exocell right in the middle of the hangar. The hatch is open as well. The cockpit is exposed. So this is how it looks on the inside, huh? It's small, but big enough for one person. Oh. Huh, the hatch is open? How strange. Only the mama cubs can turn off the electrical lock and open the hatch. Huh? Only the mama cubs can open the hatch? Normally, the mama cubs are the only ones who can pilot the exercise. Normally being the key word. Because of that electro hammer thingy, the electronic lock is all screwed up. Have you mentioned this to anyone else? Nope. No one's asked me about it either. Even if it had been asked, it would have been irrelevant information to you anyway. Electronic lock on the hatch that only the monocubs can disable. Which must be why only the monocubs can control the exosiles. But if you disable the lock... Mm. You could control the excess off. So that's how Kokichi was doing it. What about this one? The red excess all is completely still. Hey, Shuichi, it's dangerous there. If you go near that thing, you might get torn no. apart. No, it shouldn't move anymore. Not without the monocubs or Kokichi. Yeah, so it's just a pile of scrap then. Hey! Jeez, don't scare me like that. With my magic. Maybe I should just tear this hunk of junk apart with my magic. Oh. I suppose that if Kokichi was alive, he could move it at any time by remote. Yeah, why didn't you say so sooner? That is, if Kokichi is alive. That little control Kokichi has for the Exophiles. What is it exactly? Does he have that because he's the mastermind? Or did he have Mew make that for him? file this time barely has any information in it at all. Okay. Yeah, it won't be much use to us. Jeez. It's so hopeless. He probably should have shouldn't have even gone out of his way to give it to us. That's nice. It's fine, it's fine. A mascot's appearance at a murder scene brings a sense of relief and peace of mind. Oh, he popped out. Jeez. What an attention hog. Of course I want attention! I'm the mascot for crying out loud! And yet I've appeared fewer times than that plain Jane Samiti over there! It'd be false advertising if I didn't appear as often as I can, you know! Um, uh, advertising? What advertising? No. Ignore it. Let's just focus on the investigation. Yeah! yeah. You know... Maybe, maybe... Maybe Kokichi's in there? Or Kaito? Maybe one or the, the other is inside there. Because it's it's closed. I wish we could just freaking check it, but I'm pretty sure they're not gonna let me do that. Anyways, Kimiko. What? I don't want to talk to you right now, okay? The way you are now, you might start accusing people because you can't believe Kaito's death. No. No, that's not. Out. I don't want to hear your excuses or anything else. Just don't talk to me. If you keep bugging me, hey, huh? I'll give you afro hair with my magic. She's awfully stubborn. Is she that suspicious of everything now? Or is there a reason she doesn't want to talk to anyone? Does she actually have a reason? The washing machine. This looks like a car wash. I imagine it's for cleaning the exosols. Doesn't look like it's been used in a while. I don't see any clues. What was the point of including that stuff in there? Okay, can I check the toilet? This is the bathroom. Now that I think about it. No, I'm locked up in the bathroom, but Kokichi's just outside that door. This is the place where Kaito was imprisoned. Kaito might have left some kind of clue here. Didn't leave anything. He might not be dead. Anyway, I should investigate inside. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, I see a little bit of blood. And a crossbow. A glass bottle. And some arrows. Okay, wait. Check the window first. A small window for ventilation. This is... The same window from before. It's a small window and it doesn't open all the way. No one would be able to fit through here. No, but someone could have assembled a crossbow? Is that how Maki did it? Or... Because I don't think Kaito was... Did he carry around the freaking crossbow? I don't think he did. I'm guessing Maki must have done it, right? I mean, this is like that whole theory where they had with Gonta throwing the shot put ball through the tiny gap. Since it could be assembled. Oh, but both 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 Kaito and Maki both knew how to assemble it. Alright. Hmm, I suppose if someone could fit through, Kaito would have escaped by now. Perhaps it's too small for a person, but an object could fit through. Yeah. They could have assembled that. But even if Maki could have assembled it, I don't know, could she have even taken a shot? How would that have worked? I don't know. A blood stain. A puddle of blood in the center of the room and a swipe pattern from there to the door. Hmm. What could this mean? Well, it could either mean Kaito was coughing up blood right here, or this is where the arrow hit, and 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 killed whoever. What could this mean? Let's see in the bathroom. There are, after, there are arrows on the floor of the bathroom. Three in total. Blood on all of them. Uh, um, what is this? What happened here? Three arrows. Crossbow. This is one of the crossbows from Maki's lab. Why is it here? Uh huh. The poison, poisoned arrows. There's a small bottle in the corner of the bathroom. It's empty. If I remember correctly. But it's got like, it's got, it's got smudges on it. Is it like hiding what kind of poison it is? I feel like I've seen this before. The label has blood all over it. I can't read it completely, but I can see the word poison. Could it be? If this is poison. This bottle must hmm. be taken from my lab. Okay, so we need to investigate the lab. I don't know who brought this here, but it definitely has something to do with this case. Small empty bottle. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, I, I didn't see that. The black case. Oh, this case. Oh, what's in that black case over there? As if backing away from the conversation, Kaito heading to the far shelf. What's in it? Is it some kind of weapon? This is that case from before, right? Uh huh. Mm. Alright, I finished investigating the bathroom. No more clues than I thought there'd be. And one is particularly concerning. Why is the crossbow from Maki's lab in here? And the three bloody arrows. Those arrows are definitely for the crossbow, but why are all three bloody? That bottle of poison, what could it have been used for? Hmm. There's still so much I don't know. This case looks like it's going to be tricky. Why is that one moved forward? Okay, why is this one open? There's an exosol right in the middle of the hangar. The hatch is open as well. The cockpit is exposed. Hmm. This 
Next how right in the middle of a hangar. The hatch is open as well. The cockpit is exposed. So this is how it looks on the inside, huh? It's small, but big enough for one person. Was it always standing right there? I'm just being crazy. There's more to examine. What else is there to examine? Oh, the trail of blood. Okay. What is this, a blood stain? I... Is it... Was this blood stain actually dragged to the right? I mean, that's what makes sense, is it would be dragged to there. I don't know, the smearing looks weird. It's a faint trail of blood leading to the press. A swipe pattern, as if dragged. Looks like it's coming from the bathroom. Hmm. The bloodstain suggests that something was dragged from the bathroom to the press. Okay, it just looked weird to me. That's fine. Is that everything? What else? What else? I thought... Is... I feel like this exercise is, like, way closer. Um... What haven't I looked at? No. Hmm. Oh! I'm sorry. I've been exam I've re-examined everything in the room and I thought it was all just repeating. My bad. I'm sorry. Um Looks like the left sleeve is sticking out of the hydraulic press. Only the sleeve is sticking out. No part of the victim's body is visible. But they crushed completely so that only the sleeve remains? Hmm? What's this? The sleeve has a single small hole in it. A hole in the sleeve. What could this be? Where the arrow hit? Okay, so... Either... So, either... Either, either Kokichi was wearing Kaito's coat here, or Kaito was the one wearing it and he's dead. Ugh. This is, this is gonna be confusing. I can't check the body, so I don't have many clothes to work mm. with. I have to find more clues elsewhere. That's all I can investigate here in the hangar. Still questions. The truth is still far out of reach. I can't deduce who the victim is. Hmm. Need more clues. I should investigate other areas. I should start with the areas around the hangar. And I really want to talk to Kibo. I have a feeling Maki's not going to talk to me because she's probably higher on the suspect list. Kibo! The alarm system is off. Still must be affected by the electro bomb. Right. I should investigate this place thoroughly. There must be some clues around here. Talk to me, man. Phew, I think I'm starting to feel a little better now. I'm sorry to worry you, Shuichi. Okay. Ah, I was a bit worried. I'm glad you're feeling better. There was something I needed to ask Kibo. Hey. hey, Kibo, before you went... Hey, Kibo, before we went into the hangar this morning, you said... So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. You tried to talk to him on your own? I'm sorry. I thought it would be preferable for him to release Kaito peacefully. See, this is another thing. Maki said that she was watching the hangar very, very closely. So her not knowing that Kibo or I went there means that she... Means that she was... She was inside. Or she was plotting or something. That's... It's alarming. I'm sorry, I thought it would be preferable for him to release Kaito peacefully. How did it go? It went about as well as I expected. There was no response at all. But I did witness a few things. Uh, um... You said that you witnessed a few things? What exactly did you see? Hmm. 
Ah, uh, yes, since we were in a hurry. I only told you about the Exocile returning to the hangar. Okay. Yes, he said the Exocile could pass through the alarm system and barrier to the hangar. Yes. I never imagined something like this would happen, so I didn't mention it before. But before I saw the Exocile, I saw someone heading toward the hangar. Huh? You saw someone? Um. I saw Himiko. What? I was in my lab, trying to think of what I should write to convince Kokichi. That's when I saw her walking toward the hangar, clutching something in her hands. What? I think it was a black bag. What? A black bag? What? <laughs> I... At the time, I assumed she was going there to examine things or plead with Kokichi. And since she came back later, I didn't think much of it. But after seeing her reaction this morning, I started to get a little suspicious. Well, what? What did you see? Why? She was acting like she had done something. She was acting like she had something to hide. It's not that I wanted to suspect her. You're right. True. It is suspicious. Oh. Hey. You said you saw her come back as well. Was she holding the bag at that time? Well. Now that I think about it, she didn't. She had it coming in, but not leaving. It has to be. The black bag Himiko was carrying was... Um. By the way, this is a little off-topic, Shuichi, but... Huh? Oh, what is it? As I thought. The reason I wasn't feeling well may have been... The reason I wasn't feeling well may have been due to the electro bomb, but, but it was only because of the electromagnetic particles, not because I'm a robot. So what I experienced was akin to a allergic reaction such as hay fever. Which means... So it could have affected a human the same way. Being a robot had nothing to do with it. Uh, okay. Ah, uh, right. That must be it. So that thing Himiko said was bothering him. He really is a bit too sensitive. Kibo's account has been added. Oh. This is the control panel that controls the electric barrier protecting the hangar. He hit it with an electro hammer, so it isn't operational right now. That's true. That's right. What are these marks here? Looks like it has been struck by something sharp. What could these be? Hmm. Oh, wait. How were they able to even damage it in the first place? Getting near the control panel should have caused the alarm to go off. You have to turn off the alarm before you even get close. So how did the person who did this get near the control panel? Don't know? The hangar shutter. There's a security alarm here. You have to use the alarm remote to disable it to get near the shutter. Come near the shutter without the remote. A loud alarm would go off around the entire academy. You had to use an electro bomb to disable the sensor and the alarm. That's how we got into the hangar. Hee hee hee. It's not exactly a bomb though, even if it is called an electro bomb. It jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic waves. For two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activities, too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for electro hammers. Now that I think about it, there were three electro bombs total. One was stolen by Maki, but what about the other two? How how close do you have to be for that sensor to pick you up? Like, I guess I guess what it what we're what what the game's telling me is that if if you were to actually try and mess with this, that'd be that'd be in range of the sensors. Like the sensors are not just this this platform. It's just like this huge area around the front. The only thing I can imagine is maybe 
Maybe, well, there was a, there was an exile that came through here, the green one, right? So, maybe someone, maybe Maki or someone hit the green one with the electro hammer and then she took it over here and does that disable, like, the sensors? Like, does an exile approaching disable the sensor and then she went and slashed this thing up so that way it would let her in? That doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. Check this window. This is the bathroom window. This is the hangar's only window, and it's not possible to fit through. Really? It's the only way to get into this hangar is through the shutter. That's all I was concerned. That's about all I was concerned with in the hangar. But I still don't have enough clues. There have to be more. The other places that might yield some clues are okay. Maki's lab and my lab, the crossbow in the bathroom, the bottle of poison. I need to investigate those leads. All right. I should also investigate the three exiles that were protecting Monokuma. How were they protecting him in the first place? That might be related to the case as well. They weren't protecting him. I don't know how many times I have to tell you this, Shuichi. The exile isn't showing any signs of moving. If Kokichi is alive, he can use his remote control to move them as he pleases. But that remote control Kokichi has for the Exosiles, what is it exactly? Does he have that because he's the mastermind? I don't think so. Should get another look at where the Exosiles are? They- I did look! They're just there! What do you want? The only thing I notice is that they're they're facing away. Oh, oh, the electro hammer over here. There's an electro hammer here, but why? It's Maki's. It's out of power. It must have been used, but used for what? But be careful. The electro hammer runs out of power pretty quickly. So if you use it against an Exosol, it'll run out of juice with, with just one shot. Got it? I remember correctly. The hammer's power is expended. It requires 24 hours to recharge. We know that for certain. Okay, so Maki did this. Remember the sight I saw yesterday. Exosiles protecting Monokuma for some reason. Kikichi said he was the mastermind. The Exosiles should have been around him. So why were they still protecting Monokuma? And four of them, too. Hmm. I suppose I was so caught up thinking about Kokichi ignored Monokuma. Pay attention! Listen up! Take heed, I say! Monokuma? I just noticed! It's just... I noticed that you came this way last night, Shuichi! Huh? <laughs> you were acting all sneaky, weren't you? Like a teenage boy trying to creep into the adult movie section of a video game store! But you didn't need to sneak around, because the Exosiles wouldn't have attacked you. What are you saying? We didn't have to sneak? Because everyone coming to rent adult movies... Because everyone's coming to re rent adult movies, so in a way, everyone's going there is... the same. Wait! No, not that. I meant about the Exosiles not attacking us. Oh, at that time, the Exosiles were on autopilot and directed to only observe me. Their movements are more limited now that the Monocubs aren't around to pilot them. No pilot? You mean remote control that Kokichi has? Well. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So the Exosiles were being controlled by Kokichi's remote control. But they were focusing on Monokuma? Hey! Why are you telling me all of this? This puts the person controlling you at a disadvantage. Hey. But we're not talking about that! We're talking about this! Yeah. Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the cost trial must always be fair. Mm. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. So you share it instead. That way, it'll be fair to all the participants. So 
Someone else besides me knows this. Why didn't they share this information? M Maki? Maki knew that? Okay, that's all I can tell you. <laughs> By the way, renting movies is so old school. It's more thrilling to illegally download them. It's like trying not to get caught by a big game hunter while holding your breath during sex. This information about the exercise could be a clue to solving this case. I should remember this. Okay. So... Maki? Maki knew that... Exosiles weren't ever going to hurt us. She probably got really close to the Exosile in the first place. And noticed that they didn't that they didn't go after her. So is Maki What is Maki's game plan here? She's in here, isn't she? Let us know if there are less weapons here than I remember. Alright, everyone's here. Hope you're all ready. Are those weapons? So we went to my lab yesterday to find weapons to use against Monokuma. I guess Kaito had them. I thought for sure Maki would have been in here. There are two black bags here, identical to the ones in the hangar. The cases for the crossbows. The crossbows are inside, but disassembled. No. Looks as though they don't even fit in the case unless they're disassembled. There are two. I was here with Kaito before. Okay, so there were three. There were three of them. And I'm sure that Kaito didn't have a crossbow with him. That's true. In that case, the crossbow in the hangar must have come from here. Which means someone must have brought it from the hangar from here. But it's fairly difficult to put together the crossbow. I don't believe you'd be able to do it unless Maki told no. you. I'll think about I'll think more about that later. For now I need to investigate. <sighs> the fact that Himiko went there with with the bag, is it possible that there's like multiple bags? <laughs> that look like that? I don't get it. Look at all these guns. Even if they're all airsoft guns, it's a remarkable sight. She got a knife from over here, didn't she? I feel as though there are less weapons here than I remember. Alright, everyone's here. I hope you're all ready. Those weapons? <laughs> we were really doing this flashback again? Oh, it's because it's the same thing. Can I leave? Okay, sweet. So there was only one thing to really look at there. What's missing from the shell? That poison... That bottle of poison in the hangar. I need to confirm that it came from here. Over here? There are several bottles of poison lined up here. I haven't seen any poison outside of this lab, so a small bottle of poison I found must have come from here. Hmm? There's a little less liquid inside this bottle than the others. The label says Strike 9 Poison. Is, is Strike 9 Poison something actual? Because, like, <laughs> when I saw the Strike 9, I was, like, instantly think of, like, Ice 9. <clears throat> the poison takes some time to spread, but... Even a small amount of it can be lethal. I can't imagine that there is, there's a smaller amount in this bottle for no reason. This must be a clue. There's more stuff in here. Bunch of bottles on top of the desk. Did someone take them out? Knights hate antiquities. 
These bottles say antidote. Hmm. Antidotes, huh? I didn't know that these were here. According to the labels, each bottle is only one dose. And each one only works on a specific poison. Yeah. I suppose that makes sense. And there are plenty of different kinds of poisons, so that must be true for antidotes. Hmm. Strychnine poison and antidotes. That's disconcerting. These are the antidotes for strike nine poison. They're all, f they're all for different poisons. What could that mean? All right. All right. I've investigated this room thoroughly. I can't find any evidence to suggest Kaito isn't dead. On the contrary, there's plenty of evidence to suggest Kokichi isn't dead. Onokuma is still moving around, and the killing game hasn't ended. And Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press, which means the victim must no. be. No, it's too soon to be thinking like that. If I investigate a little more, I'll find something. There's still time. I should head back to the hangar. Perhaps I missed something. I should check again. <clears throat> Fast travel. Kibo went inside? Okay, everyone's in here. Shuichi! Oh, Shuichi, can you come with me? What happened? Something wrong? Um, I found something strange in the bathroom. Please hurry! He shouted quickly and ran into the bathroom. Hmm. What are you talking about, Kibo? Do you have something to tell me? so easy for you to believe Kaito is dead. Hey! You know, I was looking for you, you know? Hurry and get to the bathroom. I'm not gonna ask what you're going to do with a robot in the bathroom. It's on Himiko's mind. Hey! Hey, it's almost time for the class trial to start, right? Was no one able to find uh, Kokichi? Um, wonder. I haven't heard from anyone. I see. Wonder where he went off to. Ah, uh, I disappeared. He, st he can't still be in the hangar. Or under there. Is it gonna be two Maybe. dead bodies? Shuichi, do you think the one who died was Kokichi? Huh? Huh? Seems like. I mean, your face says you want to think that. Of course, Shuichi wants to think that. He doesn't want to think his his buddy died. It's plain to see, but I think that's just plain impossible. Kichi's been manipulating us all from the start. I can't believe someone like that could be killed by Kaito. Huh? Oh, of course, I didn't mean to compliment Kokichi or make fun of Kaito or anything. Okay. I know, you're probably right. So maybe that's a good point. I still don't have enough clues to conclude that Kokichi died. I'm certain that one of them must have. Oh, I needed to talk to her for that. Kokichi's disappearance. Either he's hiding out somewhere, or he's dead under this press with Kaito, or... Or... Or he's inside this Exosol over here, or... Or... Or he's dead and Kaito's in this Exosol. Because what... I want to see what's in this one. That's true. I want to see what's inside that one. What am I doing? What just happened? What did I just click? Oh, there are no clues here. What the... What did I just... Hey! Kibo, what are you looking at? Yes. Take a look at this! Huh? These are Kokichi's clothes? It's all soaked and wrinkled, but these are no doubt the... It's all soaked and wrinkled, but there's no doubt that these are Kokichi's. But where did you find this? I didn't see it in, when I was investigating the bathroom. Why are they soaked? Because they were down the toilet? Well, the toilet seemed clogged, so I reached my hand down the drain and pulled out these clothes. It looks like they couldn't be flushed all the way. Couldn't be 
washed all the way down. Why were these clothes in the toilet in the first place? Yeah. Yes, it was very brave of me. And thanks to that, I managed to find an important clue. Now, Shuichi, please investigate as much as you want. Okay. Uh, yeah. Clocking the toilet, huh? But this isn't time to hesitate. Kikichi's clothes found in the bathroom. If they were found in the toilet, someone must have tried to flush them. Who would do that? What's the matter? Is something the matter? Please, investigate. Okay. Uh, okay. The ultimate detective can't stop here. This has to be an important clue. Alright. Alright. I made up my mind, grab Kokichi's soaked clothes, and spread them open. Huh? There's a small hole in the back. Another small hole on the sleeve. This one is about the same size as the one on Kaito's sleeve. There are traces of blood around the holes, too. What does this mean? could mean that he was attacked. In that case... No. There's a chance Kokichi was the one crushed in the hydraulic press. Thank you. Kubo, thank you, thank you. This is a very important clue. Well. Oh, I'm happy I was able to help, but I must decline shaking that hand of yours. No. Uh, your hands aren't clean either, though. <laughs> But if Kokichi was the one crushed in the hydraulic press, where did Kaito go? Why not show himself? Why is this game still going even though the master mind is dead? Um, um, this is awkward. Um, if this is awkward, Shuichi, I can leave and give you some privacy. Huh? You weren't concerned about that? Kokichi and I washed our hands in the sink, and I left the bathroom. Kichiro Kaito, whoever is alive, will be there. And then, at the trial, we'll know who the victim is. <sighs> it's already starting! All of this, that means Kokichi will come too! Or it could be Kaito! <sighs> we are out of time! If I must! Let's head to the trial grounds! We still need to settle our business with Kokichi! I'll go on ahead then. Maki. Did you do it? Did you do it, Maki? You wouldn't have killed Kaito. I know that for a fact. 